Okay, so you can see like my soul like leaving my body at this point. What's up pre-med friends? Okay, so if you only want the actual reaction, that'll be linked up here. But this will be a reaction to the reaction of the MGAT video from exactly one year ago because it's my anniversary! <laughs> so hopefully this is just a fun, chill, behind the scenes kind of reaction video. Okay, let's go! Okay, so first thought, I could have sworn this video was like, it felt like like eight minutes long, like the turmoil of what happened on this fine April 27th day. I was like breathing like really really hard for like eight minutes like pacing back and forth this video wasn't actually supposed to go on YouTube I just wanted to film it for my mom um, and then I showed some friends and they had an interesting reaction to it so I thought maybe it would be good to put online as well but but here's the real tea though is like it takes them one month to be able to put out these results, even though it's a computer automated system. So for that one month, I was like freaking out and I honestly had no idea how I did, but we'll see what I say. I'm prepared for a memo too. Okay. Oh my God, okay, I was prepared for a 502, it's true. I was, I thought around that is what I would get. Just for disclaimer's sake, I needed a 504 with a 124 in each subsection to be able to get in to my med school with the program that I'm in. So that's why I was aiming for like a low score. Okay, so you can see like my soul like leaving my body at this point which is just, oh, it was devastating. It was devastating, and, and, and you'll see why, because there were two conditions, right? Okay, looking back at this a year later, where I have studied and taken the, the test again, and I did get the score I needed, and I did do the interview and all that, now it's kind of like, wow. But in that moment, it was so freaking devastating thinking about having to do this again, because I had a deadline of I needed my score back by j late July, which means I needed to take my test by June, and this was April 27th, and I had my finals, and I was moving all the way up until like May 15th. So the next time I took my test was June. 15th ish. So I have like one month to, to bring this CP up and CP was a freaking worst. Like I've never gotten a 122 on any practice test. Even my very first one, I got a 124. So yeah, I was just praying for the best and that doesn't work for this test. So if I had just one piece of advice is if you are not feeling confident in one of the sections, you have to pick that section and you have to work on it really, really freaking hard. Because the real tea is that like with my cars and my psychology, I was getting like 127, 128s on my practice test. But so there's always room to improve because 132 is the highest you can get. And I knew if I had worked on my cars for another like two weeks, I could have gotten like a 131. But that doesn't matter when your bad scores are so, so bad and it's harder to work on your bad stuff because it's not as rewarding and you won't get as much right. And that's what I had to learn through that month of studying for the next test that I took. Another freaking $320 a take. Man, this was rough, honestly. This was like, this was one of those tests of perseverance, I guess. And maybe that's what they're looking for in a doctor. I really don't know. <laughs> But all I know is that it was really hard um, to get this score back. But I really thought putting it online would be good for a lot of people to see that you don't always just get what you want. You know, like looking at this one year later, it's like, like that time that feels so stressful where you're, you have your Apple Watch on and it's always like a really high heart rate. Like that'll get over and it's, it's really not the end of the world. I guess that's what I'm really trying to say is like, you can do it, just push through. And this is the video where I like documented all of my mistakes and everything that I did wrong for my first test. Cause obviously I did do things wrong. 
And so I hope you find that useful. If you are in the process of studying for this arduous, very difficult task. I do, I, I sincerely wish you guys luck, okay.